Hey there, this is Beth with another YouTube Pagan Challenge. And what is it? Question number 21. Do you have a grimoire or book of shadows? Which, if you have watched my, where is it? If you ever watched YouTube Pagan video number nine, talking about journalist diary, which in my little mind meant kind of book of shadows grimoire. And I also talked more about um, how I use art journaling to chronicle things, and I do that in magic also. Um, so much of my book of shadowy stuff right now is, just making sure I don't squish the cap as I slide back. Um, yeah, is um, 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 pictorial. I even like take pictures of stuff of what I do as opposed to um, writing about it a lot of times. So, and then writing's kind of something I used to do a lot, and I haven't been doing it recently. Actually, for the last year and a half, two years, just have not been like writing on a personal level. On a business level, yeah, I've been writing a lot, which may also be one of the factors of not writing spiritually. I don't know. It's just kind of a weird thing, and that's how it's been, been happening. So I don't stress too much on it. It just is what it is. But I do have one. Um, it's pretty boring. It's a black three ring binder that's hiding somewhere at the moment. And yeah, that's it. Uh, because I do feel that um, chronicling what you do is very important. It's something that you can look back on and see when where you were, did that work, how what was your state of mind, all that kind of stuff, planetary influences, if you want to include that. Um, I'm not a huge astrologer. I, I find astrology very interesting, especially when someone else is explaining it to me. Then it's really cool. I had a colleague who did a astrological chart reading thing for me, and that was awesome. I have no desire to leave it myself. But like, if you have like the little Welland calendar where it tells you everything, that's really cool. I did. I kind of followed it more when I had one of those. But back to grimoires and books of shadows. I I think they're very important as an individual journey. To know where you've been, to know where you are, and know where you want to go to a certain extent. Which is why I keep avowing anew to start back at mine, even though I have it. But it's just what it is. I'm not going to freak out and beat myself up over my lack of spiritual magical writing right now. Um, just ain't fun, so why, why beat oneself up? Kind of over that in my life. But I do, I, you know I mean? I have a dream journal, too, that I've kept off and on for years. I'm not very good at remembering my dreams, <clears throat> even when I'm chronicling them regularly. It's just not something that happens very well for me. So it, it gets kind of frustrating, and I tend to put it aside for long periods of time because I haven't remembered anything. And I, and I consider that part of, like, Book of Shadows, Grimoire kind of stuff is chronicling those things. And... You know, it's very interesting reading back over things when you do chronicle them and you can see trends like I've been given eggs several times over the years and not like, a sh you know, like, like over a long span of years, not just a short little span of years. So, you know, if I didn't write that down, I would have never remembered in 1990 something I got an egg and then like five years later I got another egg and then there's another egg somewhere, which says to me somewhere eggs are a theme that are running through things for me on a spiritual level. And it just keeps you more aware of what's going on. It, in a way, it's a form of presence. Hmm, maybe that'll get me to write more. I'm always harping on myself and others about presence. Presence of mind, awareness of mind, awareness of now. And grimoires can help bring that in. 
Hmm, interesting thought because I hadn't thought of it that way before. So, yeah. <laughs> that is some food for thought for me. But I do kind of keep one. And I really need to be better about it because I've been doing like the layered geometry experiments and I'm at a point now where I really need to start recording what I'm doing and kind of documenting it more. It's the results are happening and it's very interesting the effects of creating especially with the <clears throat> Metatron. <laughs> it's like Metatron <clears throat> Flower of Life and Vesica Piscus. Um and how you layer them and whether you're creating a portal this way or a portal, whether you're creating the portal into you or creating the portal out to draw stuff into you. It's, it's a subtle difference, but it is a very drastic difference on the energetic levels of how it works. And so that's something I really need to start documenting, which goes back to awareness and presence and yeah, bringing that more into my life. See, these YouTube pagan challenge things are worth, thing, worth doing because they really make you think. So, I mean, if you haven't done any, and it's like 2017, and you feel like doing it, you find this, and you feel like doing it, I would highly suggest it because it really makes you think. And in a way, you're creating a YouTube grimoire about yourself or other people to learn about your path because, you know... Even if you are part of a coven or scribe to something, you know, the grimoire is, you know, the documentation of the first church of whomever you are. You know, the order of the silver tongue, iffy. Things like that, you know, your own personal mythos that starts coming in to it. And I did not come up with um, the order of the silver tongue, iffy. Iffy is a moniker that I've used on many boards. And one of my friends over at Gate World came up with that one. And oh, I was like, oh, that's so good. I'm writing that down. So that became my new Discordian Cabal. There's an addition. No, I think Pen... Because I used to be... Was it Pen Penelope of the Burning Lawns Cabal? And I switched over to Silver Tongue Iffy. See? And things like that can go in your grimoire. It's still morning. I'm drinking coffee. What else do I have to say on grimoires? But, wow, that was a big kind of connection moment here for me. Because I didn't, didn't realize I was going to draw on the parallels of awareness and keeping a grimoire. So, for me, that, wow, is the awareness part is huge for me and being in the now and not it's for ever and ever and ever I have had a habit of reliving the past just reliving over and over and over again and it's shit that doesn't need to be relived frankly over and over again it needs to be let go I have worked really hard since my death card year to let go of that and it's worked. It has definitely worked. I mean, I'm human. It still happens. I still rehash stuff. But for the most part, it doesn't keep me awake at night now. I'm not rehashing stuff from like 20, 30 years ago. That kind of stuff. You know, it's stuff you're like, oh, if I could have did this better and blah, blah, blah. And then you just go ahead and relive it in your little brain. So, yeah. You know, so what I think awareness has really brought that in and making that connection with the grimoire and awareness mm -hmm. food for thought for me but i feel like i'm just going to start repeating myself over and over again on this topic you know find a way somehow to keep a book of shadow and and i tend to link diaries and journals also into the book of shadow thing because you're every the everyday for me the mundane is also part of the spiritual journey we spend most of our time doing ordinary things. And that's where awareness comes in. Of knowing when those ordinary... And making those ordinary things become a sacred act. Of ordinariness. Even if it's just, you know, doing the dishes. There is beauty in that kind of stuff. 
and there's beauty in the simple things that can be brought in. So for me, kind of diaries, journals, grimoires, book of shadows, all kind of blend together. Art journals, obviously for me, blend together because they all chronicle your path of life. And why one may be more of a documenting your spiritual experiments and one may just be more documenting your life experience. They are both entwined because your spirit, you, how do you cut your soul out of your body? You can't. Mind, body, spirit. It's all one. We like to try and separate it, but it's one. So, yeah, awareness, book of shadows, diaries, journals, art journals, however you want to bring that in. Bring in that awareness. And remember the mundane and the spiritual, they play together. They're not separate, especially for me. Mundane, spiritual, they are one. They work together. Your life is not segmented into little teeny pieces that only this does this part and stuff like that. Okay, well that was YouTube Pagan Challenge. Question number 21, do you have a grimoire or a book of shadows? Bye-bye.